Bach put nothing. That doesn't help. <laughs> you know? So it basically means that he gives us the freedom to choose. I don't think it means that it should all be separate. There are people who play. I I find it a little too pedestrian, I must say, you know. So I think some kind of legato is a very good idea. The only problem is that I don't think it should always be the same. Mm -hmm. So for example... because you have you have three bass notes so uh, and make some of these decisions when you're playing I find in my practicing that it is very very useful to practice the bass alone yeah. very useful and to really, really establish the shape. And then practice the melody alone and then really try to put them together. Mm. You know, it's not easy mm. because the melody has to just keep going almost like a story, yeah. you know? And you, know, you need to find your climaxes. You need to have a, again, long picture. Mm. <laughs> Okay, now this, no matter how we look at it, is uncomfortable. You know, this jump is very uncomfortable, but I think your choice to hurry it makes it worse. Mm. So don't pretend that it's easy. So give me, you see, make sure that this, this is a dissonance. So if you play them together, you are, you would take your time. So uh, take your time. Yeah. It doesn't benefit from rushing. Yeah, and now you have one more added difficulty. The bass is all the same. We don't need any accents in the middle. Just one, right. 